my name is Madison and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, oh gosh, we are going to be setting up for the new semester. School is like pretty much here. It's kind of stressing me out. Um, I'm not very excited as you would probably imagine, um, but I'm going to be going through my iPad, my computer, all that jazz, setting everything up for my new classes, get everything ready so that I can have just a smooth, seamless transition into the school year. Um, I've done this in the past, but I still feel like it's so good, such a refresher, um, and it, I get a lot of inspiration on how I want to set up things and how I want to do things for my classes from other people, so maybe you can too. So let's go. So one of the main things I need to do is go through and add everything to my Google Calendar. I am the type of person that loves having my day planned out to the minute on there, as well as homework assignments, exams, things like that, so that I'm completely on top of things. I've got my computer here. I've already had my classes put in from when I registered for them months ago, but I'm going to go through now that I have all my syllabi and add exams, work, things like that. So let's go. Y'all have probably also seen how I use stickies as a planner, which is kind of like a, it's, it's exactly how it sounds. It's a sticky note type application that you can use on your MacBook. And after two years, I finally figured out what works for me um, and how I can use this to plan, see literally everything for like the next long time and just keep myself on track. So I'm, I'm going to set that up before class tomorrow and before I what's the word if I don't do it now and I don't do it well I'm gonna start off on a bad note so I'm gonna go get that done just because this is how I keep my life together <laughs> so y'all have probably seen me talk about these but these are my stickies right now um I like my little purple and gray theme going on here but in the summer these are practically just to-do lists things I want to work on place for me to jot notes things like that but in the school year I make this like I said, my planner. So I'm gonna go through, do that now, and I will talk to y'all about um, what I'm doing and how I use this to keep organized. Um, here I'm gonna list out Monday to Friday and things that happen every week. If I know I have a quiz at a certain time on a certain day every single week, this goes there. So for example, I know I have a homework due at 6 p.m. every Friday for my computer science class. So that is something that will go under Friday. Um, this is something that kind of takes some getting used to just because I don't know my exact schedule for everything yet because classes have not started. Um, so especially at the beginning of the year when I'm still getting a routine, having everything listed out is really, really handy. So I think I've finished my little notes section for now, or my little sticky note section for now. Um, this class's syllabus is not out, but regardless, this little note here kind of lists upcoming due dates for that specific class, um, the date I have it due, what the assignment is, and the time if it matters. Um, most things are due around 5 or 6 o'clock, but some of these that are due in the morning, you really want to be getting that done the night before which is why that is written in there. Down here I have um, upcoming dates. So these are all of these deadlines written out in order of the date. This is the class code as well as the assignment. Um, this just helps me, you know, I can check the date off, cross it out, that sort of thing once it's done here and here, which is really, really nice and just keeps me on track of what I have coming up. Um, and kind of lays it out a little bit nicer than this, but I do like having things broken down by class. Up here, I, like I said, I have all of my kind of weekly due dates laid out, um, things that are reoccurring and repeating just to keep myself on track as I get in the swing of things um, and start to figure out the format of what these classes look like. 
down here this is kind of my like upcoming week granted i haven't started classes yet so it's hard to say exactly what um and how this will plan out but um i list out the date when i'm hoping to get done that day um and if something doesn't get done i could just copy and paste it down into the next day which is really nice here i also like to list out things like 15 minutes of quiz prep or um 30 minutes of exam prep things like that because if i can make it quantitative and put an actual number for how long i want to study um it's actually something i can physically check off as opposed to saying i'm going to study for this class if i say i'm going to do it for 30 minutes once it's done i can actually cross it off and feel like i genuinely did it um and this is something i like to do you know every single day spend 30 minutes studying for each class and then up here i have all of my exams listed out that again like for the classes i had the syllabus for um this like i said can just help me keep me on track as well as help me know when and how to prep for each exam some of these i have two on one day which kind of sucks but what can you do I also need to go ahead and add my notes and organize my notes and everything on my iPad today. Um, if y'all have not seen, I have the 2018 iPad Pro. This thing is a miracle, especially for classes. I love it and I'm excited to use it again this fall. If y'all did not know, I use Notability for my notes. I absolutely love it. I've tried good notes and oh gosh, OneNote, not a fan. I think they work for some people, they do not work for me, but um... I am going to organize everything for the fall. I have gone ahead and created a new fall 21 tab down here. These are all kind of, what would you call that? You can minimize these, which I really, really like, and add your different classes. So I'm gonna go ahead and add all my classes. And then of course I need to go through and add folders for everything um, on Google Drive, my desktop, things like that for all of my classes. That way I have somewhere to store my documents and they don't get lost early on. But thank you all so much for watching today's video. If you enjoyed it, I'd highly recommend that you go check out some of my other like tech, iPad, Mac, productivity related videos. Um, I love that kind of stuff and I really enjoy getting the most out of my iPad, my Mac, and my Apple Watch. I did buy the new MacBook M1 chip a few months back and if y'all want to see my thoughts and impressions on that, go check out that video. But thank you for watching. I will see you all next time. I hope you all have a great day. Peace out. Bye.